Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Miss Shravanti Sri Ramoju. The figure shows a prony brake dynamometer which is uh, the simplest of all the absorption type uh, dynamometers. It consists of uh, two wooden blocks uh, shown in brown. There is a revolving uh, brake drum or pulley. And uh, the, this pulley is fixed to a shaft of an engine whose power is to be measured. So the radius of the pulley is given by capital R. And there is a lever shown in grey color and at the end of uh, the lever there is weight attached. So these weights are adjustable that means you can add or remove weights. And there are two helical springs shown in red color. So these are provided to adjust the pressure on the pulley and to control its speed and there is a counterweight on the left side left end of the lever so this counterweight will uh, help balance the lever position when it is in unloading position in order to limit the uh, motion of this lever on the right side there are two stoppers placed which are shown in violet color so these are uh, kept on either sides of the lever in order to limit the movement of uh, the lever. Now from the figure it is clear that the two wooden blocks are clamped together with the help of nut and bolt. Now if you want to apply brake in the sense if the vehicle has to be uh, stopped or if the vehicle has to slow down then we have to keep on adding weights such that the lever is rotated downwards because when the weight is added the lever rotates downwards and the wooden block the upper wooden block tends to move downwards towards the pulley and because the wooden block is pressed against the pulley there is friction that is developed between pulley and the wooden block and because of which the pulley will uh, slow down or depending upon the uh, amount of weight that is added it will stop now if we suppose that w is the weight at the end of the lever in newton and the capital l is the horizontal distance of the weight from center of the pulley in meters center of the pulley is this let us suppose that it is indicated by point o next uh, n is the speed of the shaft in rpm and f is the frictional resistance between uh, blocks and the pulley and uh, capital r is the radius of the pulley in meters now if you want to find the torque due to frictional force at the shaft torque that is generated at the shaft or on the shaft then it is simply f into r the for frictional force into radius will be the torque so that is nothing but W into capital L this is the one which we have given so W is a weight that we have added at the end at the end of the lever whose length is L from point O so it, W into L is equal to F into R Newton meters so this is the equation of uh, torque on the shaft or the moment of frictional resistance on the shaft so that will be equal to F into R which is again equal to W into L now from this we can again find the power, brake power on the engine brake power on the engine as P is equal to 2 pi NT by 60 watts or if I replace T as uh, either WL or FR then I will get 2 pi N WL by 60 watts thanks for watching if this video was of help to you please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel